Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Again in Skies with me. Um, as you can see here, I have removed everything from our ore processing things. And I want to install the new system. And that previous was like, uh, it was so, so newbish and it was so messy. But I... Uh, got a new system to install and I hope it will work so let's get on the job now, now okay first uh, I wanted to get some igneous extruders just like here then the pulverizers will go here and that's uh, for the dust process and one for the gravel over here so I'll just go and take this one and now uh, the part of uh, one quest here was to make a tank so I think this no uh, go with the flow yeah fluid storage so the part is to make some tanks and there are some tanks here, the tank and the fluid tank and I'll just go and see what's that all about fluid fluid the tank there it can hold up to uh, 16 millibuckets so it's 16 uh, buckets of a liquid and that's not bad I mean we can we can make that but the another another part is to create this uh, tank and uh, to make this uh, the regular tank and for that we need some obsidian uh, but for this one we can make right now so let's make two I mean four of them and I'll just go and use this as a small buffer between uh, the magmatic dynamo and this thing over here so oh so I have to do it separately ah uh, this sucks um, no no can you turn around somehow I know that uh, those uh, basic tank tanks can stack but not this one so no I don't want to use this let me just go and sleep first and uh, let's see what are we on about so I need some obsidian and I know how to get it so Let's quickly do and switch this Ignis extruder to obsidian mode and let's create some obsidian. So one bucket of water and one bucket of lava equals one obsidian. And I'll just go and pump it up with lava here and I'll need more of water there there okay so we need four obsidian for that tank I think not the fish tank uh, the yeah open box tank yeah the four obsidian and they'll stack so that's nice thing and let's go and craft it first I need some glass which I've got in those furnaces over here and that's nice let's go and craft some glass panes then a tank there we go and nice so we can turn in the quest now yeah and let's pick the reward back 
Oh, I, I've got no space in my inventory. Inventory here. So let's go place those things here, which we don't need. And let's claim the reward. So I'll go with the first reward bag. And we got two reward bags from this quest. So that's awesome. And I hope we'll have some luck now. Let's see. Come on, one and two. So go first. Not so good reward. Okay. Useful reward. A book. Fortune tree. Oh, nice. This is a book, Fortune tree. Awesome. So. I'll just go and leave the book in my things over here, there, and a diamond can go here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the yeah, this was the quest from the Go with the Flow. So we skipped some of those quests here, and yeah, you can do other quests now we have unlocked them so but I needed this quest because of this tank so this tank can stack and you can see here that um, let's see the one I think it can stack I mean one can hold 16 mil buckets but hmm it's kind of weird here the thing that they don't stack so we need to come up with a solution to get this tank extracted I need a lever where is the lever? there and let's get this thing go okay awesome awesome you remove you and you too so 16 millibuckets and I can turn on the the fluid ducts here and they will pump lava into my tank here and I think it can work work hmm. but I'm not so sure yeah which one to pick because they they both both can hold up to 16 millibuckets and both of them are not showing me uh, that when they stack they they are the one but they are separate so what I want to do is to get this tank over here and uh, yeah because this is the problem guys so you can see here easily that those tanks can't interact to, to each other as you saw here with this tank from the open blocks so when the lava comes here it will go and uh, pour in this tank over here then in this tank but when lava come here it won't go down there so this one is not the solution I wanted to do and when you break it you will lose a lava so oh you, you want to lose lava nice well I'll just go and pour the can I oh never mind uh, I'll just go and make some more of those these tanks I mean I need at least four more so be right back guys okay I've got four more tanks and as you can see lava is leveled up here so we got a nice buffer here and it will fill up when we turn on those things here 
I mean the levers and uh, let's see there so lava is coming this tank really really fast and those crucibles work excellent yep they work awesome now uh, I want the lava to come from this tank into this uh, magmatic dynamo then I will use the oops cobblestone here and I'll just go and turn this so it will supply our pulverizers with energy therefore uh, we can install these iron ducts just like so and uh, yeah we can place a cover over here but never mind it's not so important because uh, those those igneous extruders will generate uh, a cobblestone for us and to make a cobblestone generation we are going to let, let's first set up those pulverizers for it. so we don't have a mess here so cancel all input from the right output to the left and same here and same here so this line will produce a dust and this one will only produce a gravel which we are going to turn uh, there and there into autonomous activators just like here then we are going to put a sieve over here sieve and you are going off you're going off and you then you not you uh, mm, you and you then I new, need a two pneumatic servos maybe but for extraction of those things but let me see first are we going to do I need this vacuum hopper to get somewhere else and where are you let's see this is all full here and I need to use this life so you see I lost one life here when I put my player away from keyboard and he died again and that was one life I lost so yeah there enderman sorry then we can put uh, uh, those two more activators on the bottom side just like so face them into the sieve and there we go where is our vacuum hopper vacuum hopper there you are then uh, the uh, items from the sieve will go let's place this thing over here and then we can hook up the item ducts just like so so one here and there will be a chest here so but not now I need to empty this chest here so let's see not you let's go and make one chest first or sleep through the night okay guys I've got two iron chests one will go here and one will go here uh, well this one will be the reserve but 
from this one and then I think it's all set up just we we just need to set up the redstone signal for this item ducts but let's uh, switch this to cobblestone mode here and let's get a water inside and a one lava bucket in each so it will produce a cobblestone which will go here in the pulverizer and this one uh, will will make well i need a cover though yeah i need a cover so you just go like that and you just go like that okay so uh, let me get a saw uh, can I use a flint so flint so do I see you? stone iron so yeah stone so stone roots okay that and stone stone okay so just go like this then go like this and we got a stone wait wait um yeah i need one more set of these and i've got the stone so which i can then cut the cobblestone into some pieces and they're nice we've got cobblestone covers which will allow us uh, allow us to split yeah there okay and this will split here so uh, the system is ready now we just need to see which one we need a redstone pulse to transfer the item so this one will output the uh, cobblestone without the redstone signal and it will keep this pulverizer well fed so this one will also keep the pulverizer well fed well uh, we could have only one ignis extruder i think yeah we could have one and it will be enough to supply both of those pulverizers here and i think i'll just go and do this and then do this after that i'll go with the obsidian then take you and i'll go and take this chest here oops went there bad boy okay so but not that chest let's go and make this chest and let's see actually i'm just going to do this there and this one will make cobblestone like that and this one will be supplied with the fluid just like so and um, yeah you got a redstone signal and you're not doing what i wanted to do and you're also going to need infinite water source so let me consider this a uh, bit tricky thing to do but i can i'll come with the solution guys so let's do this and now we have a mess yeah you can call this a mess i think I'm just going to have an infinite water source 
over here just like that and then a water let's see let's see first um, hmm. Put to the left side just obsidian there obsidian okay so we got mm -hmm. we got a problem wait 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 I'm just going to do some stupid thing now and you guys take care what are you doing and yep I'm doing that so I'll just go need to go up just like so and here uh, I can set a water source just like that and like that there okay so i can turn this ignis extruder on the this side no 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 and oops uh can it be turned somehow not on that side on that side and then um the output will go to the right side so that side is here and input from the back side and from the left side and then i can install the dd aqueous accumulator and uh, i need to find that where the hell did i put that thing let me see Accus accumulator not you not you not you okay guys let me just go ahead and make one because I really don't know where the my Accus accumulator gone so I'll be right back <laughs> okay guys I made new Accus accumulator I'll just go and put it over here and hook a fluid ducts into this just like that and place a covers there and there and there okay so we've got uh, do we got a generation of obsidian? Oh, this is lava, so just go do this and hook up again. And we got a water here, and that's nice. So I've got some steady uh, supply of obsidian here. But let's see that our system, if our system is working as we thought it will. So, yeah, so as I supposed, we need a uh, numeric servos or some source of redstone signal over here. But we are going to use some levers there but the covers will go here oops oh we got a cover here so we don't need a cover then yeah we need to set an output 
let's see output to the left so hmm So why the hell is not the, uh, this is not working? Let's see about that. Item duct. I'll go there. Hmm. We might need to set this just like that. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, can we place a gravel? No. Oh well, we pla can place a gravel over here, but I want it to see if we can do it like this, install pneumatic servo, whitelist a grill. I don't get it. Hmm. don't get it why this is not working gravel so you need to be extracted here let me solve this guys okay guys um, I need to put this as an input slot here so this will uh, do the job, but let's see first. Can we do it without pneumatic servos? Yes, we can. So I can then remove this thing and install the item ducts just like so. And yeah, it will pull out the, the items from the pulverizer just like that but uh, somehow my igneous extruder went oh. oh oh I need to set up this as an output there and then I need a redstone signal over here so Let's take one cobblestone piece and oh my god this is a mess big mess over here but it will pay off let's go and do this This will suck out everything here. There, nice. And put it in this chest over here. So, that's the principle how to get those things automatically done. But let's see first, first, first. Um, did I set up this one here? Yes, I did. And I don't need a redstone signal for that. And take this cover, cover. And what's this? This is a dust. So this will go here. Uh, 
and I think I'll go and set this output for the both slots and we need some sand to be sifted because we want to do this quest over here but we can't do it without getting some ancient spores we need a soul sand and for creation of soul sand we need some ancient spores which we can get only by sifting a sand so that's why the sand is important in this stage uh, but let's see I I think I run this system for a while as you can see we are slowly but surely generating uh, the most stuff we want here and yeah so this will be the end of this episode guys I hope you have enjoyed in this and I hope this will work for you because we are cruising and see ya in the next one bye bye